Welcome to today's video. Today we'll be trying to create a healthy breakfast option. So for that you will need certain things in this video. But they're mostly optional. And over here we have this. Now I want you to guess what's inside this container. It says diesel. D I E S E L. Diesel. Ultra cross flow micro filtered. U L T R A C R O S S F L O W M I C R O F I L T E R E D New Zealand Way Isolate N E W New Z E A L A N D New Zealand Way W H E Y Way Isolate I S O L A T E 26 grams of protein, chocolate, peanut butter. Hmm. Now, are you sure you know what's inside this? Are you sure? Look perfect. P E R F E C T. Let's open this up. Let's see what's inside this. Do you want to take a wild guess what's inside this? Oh, of course. Let's see what's inside this. It's a healthy breakfast option. Well, a healthy meal option as well, actually. Because these are healthy meals. I'm sure a lot of people have trouble trying to find out the healthy, you know, meal choices for their diets. So I'm going to show you one of the better options that are healthier and very fulfilling as well. So, what do you think's inside this? Oh, you said uh, protein powder? Let's see if you're right. Oh, no. It's oats. Oatmeal. Now, you're going to need a bowl and a spoon. You take your little scooper. And you put as much as you need. Hmm. Now oatmeal is a really good carbohydrate option. It's actually very healthy for you. It's slow digesting, so you won't really accumulate fat if you eat a lot of it, because it takes time to digest. Unlike faster absorbing carbs, they'll like spike your insulin levels up and hence make you gather fat if you haven't burnt it off, like the extra carbs or energy. Um, yeah. Overall, it's very nice. It takes to something, okay, it takes a while to get used to because, you know, it's oatmeal. It's not exactly, oh, like the best tasting food in the world. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you a little nice recipe that you can make. This is how I like to eat it, and it tastes really good, and I'm not a big fan of oatmeal myself because I feel it tastes kind of like blah, you know. So, yeah. That should be enough, unless you want a little more scoop over there. Put that aside over there. And I'm now we're gonna put this away. Uh, see, you thought it was a protein powder in this. Haha. <laughs> no, the reason is there used to be protein powder in this, but I finished it a long time ago and I didn't really like this one that much. I mean, it was supposed to be healthy. It's vegetarian and everything, but it just, it's, it wasn't for me personally. I didn't like it too much. I didn't like, I didn't enjoy it either. And so, you know, see for me, like when it comes to protein powders, I like to get like the purest forms 
I don't like the ones with like added stuff or filters and stuff. Even though this says it's like very good, chances are like soy protein, like you know the stuff that tofu is made out of, it's not the best exactly for like muscle building or even like protein itself. And from the research I have read, and personally I didn't really notice much benefits from taking this one, so that's why I had to retire this protein powder. And instead, like, you know, find a better alternative that didn't have any kind of, like, you know, additives or, like, soy protein or any kind of other ingredients that are, like, just unnecessary. Because, in my opinion, like, protein powders, like, whey protein especially, it should just be, like, milk protein. It shouldn't have, like, anything else in it. So, and, like, there's a lot of different brands out there, so... And it's hard to like distinguish which ones are the best ones, but I personally feel this is probably the best one. I mean, I'm not advertising it. I'm not even saying. I'm definitely not sponsored by them, at least not right now. But, I mean, it is one of the like higher priced brands in the store. But it's definitely worth the quality because of the ingredients. It doesn't have any soy or any kind of nonsense. It's literally just like milk protein. Like if you're in like not lactose intolerant or whatever or whatever if you like don't have any lactose problems and like you need a protein powder this is your best bet it's pure whey it's pharmaceutical grade that's like probably like the best thing right there it's almost like it's made in a lab like probably the best lab in the world i guess but even then it's like doesn't have kind of like you know nonsense in it it's like it's very nice it doesn't have any like you know soy or anything it's literally just like look at this it has no artificial sweeteners it doesn't have any gluten it doesn't have any fat or sugar or antibiotics or pesticides or hormone or gmos it's very nice it's quick you know so it dissolves very quickly it's like you know available to your body really fast it's good quality like probably the best purity because I mean I compared it to other protein powders in the store well when I went to get this one this is actually probably like you know my second tub of this one I'm guessing but yeah like I actually just recently tried like I tried to find a better one and this was like technically the best one because it's not just because it's like higher price or anything it's like price higher because of like it is a quality product. I mean, there are a lot of, like, protein powders out there that, like, are expensive, but they don't really do anything. They're, like, not good for you. They have, like, you know, nonsense in there. Like, just, like, this is pure, just, like, milk protein. Like, that's that's literally what this is, and it's very nice. It's It tastes amazing. And, yeah, I mean, if you need a protein powder and you're not sure which one to go for, but you can handle milk, this is definitely by far the best choice. I mean, I noticed like strength gains and muscle gains were like also improved by taking this one compared to like, you know, other protein powders that contain like nonsense like soy or like other, you know, so-called proteins that are supposed to help you build muscle, but they really don't. This one I can say hands down, like my strength did increase while taking this one. At least when I was, like, trying to work out, like, a lot more, like, consistently while comparing to, like, working out consistently. I was taking other protein powders before. This gave me amazing results. I'm not saying that just by taking this you'll build a lot of strength or muscle. But what I am saying is if you're working out and you have a healthy lifestyle, supplementing with the right kind of protein, like, the one that's actually healthy for you and doesn't have any, like, nonsense stuff like soy protein or you know just fake proteins that are like really cheap to produce and they seem like they have like really good protein numbers on like the label but in reality they're not very much helpful to your body they're just like a big waste so yeah i mean i recommend this one new zealand way it's funny i mean they're both like from new zealand here but the quality difference in this one is definitely by far the best. I like this one the most because it tastes good and it's healthy. And I'm actually allergic to soy proteins, so it's not the best thing for me to take anyways. And it was really hard to find a protein powder without soy. And this is the only one I could find. 
I mean, it was like a bit on like the higher price range, but definitely worth it if you have any soy allergies and but can tolerate milk. This is this is the one to go for by far, and it has a really nice design too. See, wow. So yeah, I mean, so you got your bowl of oatmeal right there, and what you do is open this up. See, I'm almost done this one. You take one scoop. Now it's kind of hard to mix sometimes because of like the oatmeal and stuff, but you know you gotta mix it around a bit to get the consistent texture. But uh, usually I just blend it up or like put it straight with milk and just shake it in like a shaker. But yeah, so you have your oatmeal and your protein powder mixed in. Now you're probably thinking, okay, how are you gonna eat this? This looks kind of like what is this? Well, that's the thing. We're not exactly done making this yet. Now we're gonna add some fruit. Okay, so. Got two bananas here. You know what? Just for the glare purposes, I'll just move this here. Now we're gonna peel the banana. I put that on the tray in case you thought I put it on the floor. Now we're gonna take our butter knife because we're extra like that. I'm joking. Slide, you're gonna slice the banana into your oatmeal and protein powder. Now, I know this might seem like oh, it's just another like whatever, or it's just but it tastes really good. I mean, I know it probably just seems like whatever, but trust me, once you try this, you'll be like, wow, like you won't even want breakfast cereals that are loaded with sugar anymore because you'll realize this is like a much better alternative. And here's the second banana. Now, fruits are good for you, especially, like, you know, instead of artificial sugars, fruits are probably better because they contain more natural sugars and they're a healthy source of carbs. Also, the banana can be considered, like, you know, a bit more, you know, a diverse fruit, in my opinion because you can add it to a lot more dishes like you can add apples too but apples will probably like kinda ruin the taste a bit in my opinion the bananas complement it and now we're gonna add milk now if you're like lactose intolerant or like you know you can't tolerate or whatever like you can't have milk cause lactose problems are just allergies Obviously, I do not recommend this recipe for you. What I do recommend instead is like, if you have allergies to milk or lactose, uh, replace the protein powder and the milk with just like just keep the oatmeal and uh, bananas. Instead, like add some like lactose-free milk or add water instead. If you know you can eat water and oatmeal, it's up to you. But. If you can have milk and you have no allergies to like lactose or milk or anything like that, then I definitely recommend, you know, milk. Because milk is probably the best there is. Yogurt's good too. So, you know, you just kind of put milk on this as much as you desire. At first, you might want to just have a little bit of milk in there. So you can mix it up a bit, you know, just to get the protein powder in there. See, the oatmeal soaks the milk up really quick, so it's really nice to have a lot of milk. And you just start mixing it up. 
Vamos. Now this is a very healthy snack as well. Or a meal by itself because it has like fruit, oats, milk, protein. It's like it's the best thing. It tastes good too. That's the surprising part actually for me that it actually tasted as good as it did. I just kind of came up with the recipe like two days ago. I was just thinking, I'm like, how can I make oatmeal taste better? And then all of a sudden, I just like, I was like, hey, maybe I'll add protein powder, you know, and a banana and milk. And I was like, I was really surprised by like the results because it tasted fantastic. It tastes just like, wow, so good. It's actually really good. I'm surprised like this still sell like sugar loaded cereals when like you can like come up with this alternative which is so much like better for your health and it tastes way better and it probably costs a lot less I mean in the long run at least I mean if you get a tub of protein powder that'll probably be like around it depends if you get the ones I like was talking about like the big um, tubs then that's probably just gonna be around like a hundred dollars for like um, supply of like about you know a month or two months so if you think about it like if you buy a lot of cereal and stuff that adds up like obviously like you know you're buying all this like other junk food but if you just like spend like quality money on like a quality protein powder for like you know it will last you like a good month or two so it's like, you know, it does like a lot of saving in the long run. But it's just like up front it seems like what's so expensive. But if you think about how long it actually like lasts you compared to like if you were to just get meat or eggs, that won't probably last you that long. If anything, like $100 worth of meat would probably last you, I don't know, a few weeks, probably not even a month, if even that. I'm actually like vegetarian now because, you know... I just I didn't like the cruelty aspect of like the animals you know dying and like all the stuff they had to go through so I'm actually vegetarian now it's hard for me I'm not gonna lie it's actually very difficult for me I mean oftentimes like I'm actually looking up like oh like pictures of steaks and stuff just cuz like you know I miss it in a sense like I like I really liked eating meat. most often than not people who like stop eating meat and consider themselves vegetarian they never really enjoyed eating meat to begin with. You know what I mean? So it's not that big of a deal. And yet I feel like they go around kind of like parading to other people. Oh, we're vegans or we're vegetarian, blah, blah, blah. Right? But to me, I don't do that. To me, it's really literally about like, you know, the animal's welfare. I mean, I look at animals. I saw the suffering videos. And that's the weirdest thing. I used to be signed up for PETA like when I was younger and like they would send me all these like horrible videos of like animals being tortured and this is the weirdest thing I was still able to eat meat I didn't care like I looked at the videos and they were horrible to look at but it just I didn't cross my mind because I guess I was like a little kid and I still kept eating meat it just didn't bother me as much but then as I got older I mean I literally saw like you know I went overseas like for vacation and over there, like, animals are usually allowed to, like, roam free, right? It's not really, like, how it is here in, like, the Western worlds. Where, like, you know, animals are, like, you know, you can't just have, like, cows just, like, crossing the streets whenever, right? But in, like, some countries, like, you know, in the Eastern world, like, you know, that's the norm. So I literally was, like, in a car driving with a driver. Obviously, I wasn't driving myself, thank God. But, you know, I actually saw, like someone like i saw like a cow like trying to cross the street because you got to think about it like the highways and everything are very unnatural you know cows and other animals they're like they're born to roam free in the whole entire world but now they have to like kind of like zigzag around the roads and like try to run across to save their lives just to get to the other side which was already like part of like their natural environment you know because they're animals and that's how earth was supposed to be in a sense 
because you know humans have built all these like highways and stuff like this cow was trying to cross she was like trying to run across and i literally saw the impact i saw a car go straight into the cow and the cow flipped over the cow, like car and like just like fell and like my car was here like i like literally drove past like after seeing the cow like flip and fall on the ground with a broken neck and like just blood coming out i literally was like in the passenger seat like closer to the cow side and I saw everything I actually saw it if I was driving that day I probably wouldn't have seen it but you know but I saw it you know I saw everything I saw like the cow like fall I saw like the cow break its neck and it just like kaboom it just fell on the floor and like blood coming out but at the same time like the tongue sticking out and everything but at the same time I like I kind of knew the cow was still alive but it was a kind of like counting down to die and it couldn't move because like the neck and everything was just broken it was just broken you could tell it was broken because of impact and the guy's car whoever hit him like the man old man or whatever i don't even know if it was old whatever like but like the car was dented and like this is like this is how like hypocrite this person was first of all he's driving so fast and then after like the car like hit the cow he didn't care about the cow at all he just drove off and then a little while after he just pulled up just to like check his car if his car was okay yeah, the car had, like, damage on it, but, you know, that damage can be repaired, but that cow's life is not going to come back. So after I saw that, that totally changed my mood on eating meat. I questioned myself, I'm like, why are you so sad? I mean, you eat steak and meat all the time, and just because you saw a cow, like, die in front of you, now you're all of a sudden, like, feeling all sad when, you know, because of you, like, thousands of cows.